James Brown, the godfather of soul, the man they call the hardest working man in show business. Before I go any further, I want to ask you guys, where do you guys rank James Brown as an entertainer slash performer? Me and my mom got into this debate, and I said Michael Jackson, and she said James Brown. So in the comment section below, you guys let me know who y'all think is, you know, the greatest entertainer slash performer. So anyways, he wasn't just the godfather of soul. He was a prolific singer, songwriter, band leader. His unique vocals and musical style were influenced many artists. Also, he is one of the most iconic figures in funk and soul music. Another thing that's crazy is that James Brown not only influenced funk and soul music, but he also influenced hip hop, making him the most sample artist ever in hip hop. Matter of fact, probably ever. James Brown had a lot of great hits, and I mean a lot of great hits in his catalog, but there's only one song that became James Brown's most important song as well as his most political song he ever had as a hit. And that song will be Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud. Today we're gonna take a deep dive into the story behind the song, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud by James Brown. In 1968 is the year a lot of things was going on in the world. It was a time where it seemed everything was spinning out of control. From the Vietnam War, civil rights, human rights, exploded with force in 1968. Also in 1968 is the year that Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy was assassinated. And also later that year, Fred Hampton was also killed. By the summer of that year, James Brown would have seen enough from the racial tensions, riots in different cities that was caused by the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. that later would be called the King Assassination Riots. The song inspiration came when James Brown felt blacks weren't fighting enough with each other as a whole, and he felt blacks were losing their pride. He felt he was the voice of the people. So on August 6, 1968, later that night, James went to the hotel and started writing lyrics on a napkin. And then the following day, he would record the song that he wrote on a napkin. Also before starting recording, James would have his longtime manager, Charles Babbitt, to get an old school bus right around Watson Compton and get 30 kids and bring them to the studio and join them to record a song as well. When the song was released, it became an anthem for the civil rights movement. The song would be number one for six weeks on the R&B charts and number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100s. Now here's the thing, after the single being released, it kind of faded away. James also got backlash from the hit song, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud. It interpreted by many white listeners as an angry rebuff. They took it as the song was very militant. And in James Brown's mind, it wasn't. He also said whoever viewed the song as an angry anthem was way off base. He also said if you listen to it, it sounded like a children's song. That's why children was in it. So children who heard it, will grow up and feel proud. James Brown said there was two things he was trying to accomplish while writing a song like, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud. And that was for one, give the power structure, which in America means the white power structure, a way to understand how we felt and know that we had people who could do things and just want a fair shake. Two, I wanted young black kids to wake up and realize that they should be proud of who they are and get an education and try to do something with themselves. James will go on to say, even though Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud Singer was an amazing song that little black boys and girls needed to hear at that time to give them pride and embrace the fact that black is beautiful. He said that he wanted that message for everybody. And he did lose a lot of white audience due to the fact of the song. At the end, the single Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud will be the last final pop hit and he will end up losing his white audience and never had another top 10 single for almost two decades until he did Living in America that came out in 1985. The single even got recognition in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, including as one of the 500 songs that shaped rock and roll. 
Also on the Rolling Stone magazine, they listed as number 305 on the 500 greatest songs of all times. The song also been sampled by artists like Eric B and Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, LL Cool J, and the Two Live Crew. Even though you don't hear the song like you did back then, but the message of the song still has an impact in today's society. Even though James Brown has been gone for 16 years now, his ability to connect his music with people and perform at a high level and give you hits after hits was very special. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. It's a song that will always stand the test of time. Rest in heaven to the godfather of soul, James Brown. So what do you guys think about James Brown's Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud? And how did the song impact your life? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you at it, check out other videos on Music Life Network. See you next time.